welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they come and together we can support our great leader Mazi Namdekanu IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality and put the Fulani Janjaweed to shame. He said, A British Caucasian has led a protest to the United Kingdom Parliament to question the Prime Minister Boris Johnson over his refusal to intervene in the genocide going on in Biafra land. The white man who was flanked by people with Biafra flag alleged that the United Kingdom's Prime Minister is only after money and power. He also demanded to know why the British government has kept moot over the alleged oppression, killing, kidnapping and molestation of Igbo people especially their women, by Fulani terrorist killer hesmen all over Nigeria on a daily basis. The White Britain also urged the British Prime Minister to ensure that Mazin Namdekano is immediately released as Mazin Namdekano is a British citizen. The White Caucasian also stated that the United Kingdom government ought to have no relationship with the Fulani Nigerian government, which he described as the most corrupt government on earth. They have been bribing all the nations, bribing everyone in order to help them, you know, do their Fulani bidding and their Fulanization agenda. According to the White Briton, who protested against the British government and the Fulani Nigerian government in London, according to the White Briton, he said millions of Biafrans were slaughtered and starved to death by the British government. The British starved over 3 million Biafran children between 1967 and 1970, and they sit behind those parliament doors, and they know what is going on. Exactly the same is going on now to innocent Biafrans. And they are covering all up because they don't want the average British people to know what is going on. Something they cannot allow in their nation, they are allowing in Biafra land. Children are being murdered. Mothers are being raped every single day in this Nigeria and the British government keeps quiet. Katrina Link, the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, does not give a damn. She continues to meet with the Fulani terrorist Nigerian government, killing people, killing Biafrans. Because money has exchanged hands, all your deals and businesses and contracts have exchanged hands. You know, according to the White Briton, he said, the British government does not give a damn about innocent Biafrans being killed every single day. And they have one person who tries to free his people, and yet he's being held in detention illegally, and he's a British citizen. According to the White Briton, he said, why do they not hear about that? Why does the British public not hear about that? He said that he thought that the British government cared about Biafrans and Nigerians. But right now, with the events happening, they now know that the British government gives, they don't give a damn. You know, they don't give a damn. Because money is everything. Money and power is everything. People talk about third world governments being corrupt. 
This is one of the most corrupt governments on earth. According to the White Britain, it said, Frey Maze Nam de Kanu, that should be the British government priority. Free your British citizen because you are doing nothing. We have had enough of all this, according to the Britain. The Supreme Court Administrator of Imo State. Hope Uzodinjo plans to forcefully acquire 2,000 land hectares for Ruga in Imo State. Hope Uzodinjo is forcefully trying to take hectares of land from Biafran residents for cattle settlements known as Ruga in Imo State. You know, according to IPOB, some traditional rulers, including Eze Frederick Ogechi Nwachuku of Umuneke Ngo Opwala, local government area of Imo State, is working with the Supreme Court Administrator, Hope Zodinjo, and the Fulani Nigerian government to turn people's ancestral land to Ruga. The attention of IPOB under the leadership of our great leader, Mazin Amdekanu, has been drawn to the plot by Governor of Imo State. I don't want to call him Governor. Supreme Court Administrator of Imo State, Hope Uzodinjo, to forcefully acquire 2,000 hectares of land at Ejemekuru towards Izombe, Agwa, and Akabo in Oguta, local government area of Imo State, under the guise of building a meat processing factory. You know, they lied that they are planning to build a meat processing factory. The communities rejected this disguise project, but the state is insisting on forcefully taking the ancestral land from the people. Some paid agents of the government from AJ Mekuru, Izombe, Agwa, and Izombe have resorted to using the force of the government to intimidate and coerce the citizens into submission. The deputy governor of Imo State has since been mobilized to ensure that the government's agenda is actualized. The governor, through his agents, are am twisting the AZ ship candidates in Oguta local government, precisely Izombe, using the proposal as a bait for them, instead of allowing the rightful and people's choice to emerge. The government wants to use it as a bait to accomplish their anti people agenda and favor the Fulani Janjaweed. And that is why there is lots of militarization in that area of Imo State. You know, the Imo State government is using acceptance of Ruga as a criterion for whom becomes a traditional ruler. The Imo State government is planning another massacre of Oguta, local government, Biafran citizens, based on the Azership issues instead of allowing the wish of the people. IPOB gathered that the people of Izombe are comfortable with a certain estate developer seeking 300 acres of land for industrial development, but the company should ensure that this is not a ruga in disguise. The community will resist any deviation from the planned estate development. You know, IPOB won his... Highness is a Frederick Ogechi Mwachuku of Umuneke of Umbo Opuala, local government area of Imo State, that is causing harm and pain to the people of Umuneke Ngo, who are Biafrans. He was collaborating with the Fulani Janjaweed terrorist people to cow business in the local government, thereby using the Fulani Janjaweed to intimidate the citizens of Umunekengo and IPOB 
is using this medium to relate to him, to stop intimidating Biafran people of Umune Kengo and her environs because IPOB volunteers will not allow him to continue if any harm comes to the people of Umuneke from Fulani terrorists. The AZ must be careful in dealing with the Fulani terrorists and he must move Fulani out from Umuneke Ngo before IPOB comes to meet him. He won't get easy at all if the Fulani terrorists unleash terror attack anywhere in Ungo Opoala local government, he, the AZ and his cohorts will regret their life in this world. They will regret. Enough of all these Biafran saboteurs causing problems in Biafran land. Enough. You know, youth from naked community in Nowere West, local government area of Imo State, have contributed over 1.5 million naira to rehabilitate naked Umuoma Futo Ihiagwa Trunk B Road. This was part of the road said to have been constructed by Governor, the Supreme Court Administrator of Imo State, Hopus Odinjo, which was commissioned by the murderer in chief Buhari during his recent visit to Imo State. The youth chairman of the community, Mr. David Oguoma, who spoke with journalists on why they embarked on the project, said they won't fold their hands and watch the road, the only road linking them to other parts of the metropolis, remain in perpetual state of dilapidation. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video, and bye-bye for now.